Hello everyone, welcome to my channel where I dive into fascinating world of a smart home. Today I have another exciting project to share with you. Creating a smart dimmer using a slow PI platform and versatile ESP32 microcontroller. So if you are interested to bring a touch of magic to your home lighting, let's get started. Before embarking on this amazing journey of building your own smart dimmer, let's quickly understand what it can do for you. A smart dimmer device empowers you to control the brightness of your lights remotely, creating the perfect ambience for any occasion. Imagine being able to adjust the lighting in your home from your smartphone, whether you are relaxing, hosting a gathering, or even setting the mood for a romantic dinner. It's like having a personal lighting concierge at your fingertips. Now let's introduce Eslo PI to you. Eslo PI is a powerful and user-friendly platform that enables you to build your own smart home automation projects effortlessly. With its intuitive interface and extensive compatibility, it's the perfect choice for our smart dimmer project. Whether you are a beginner or an experienced DIY enthusiast, Eslo PI makes it easy to bring your ideas to life. Moving on to hardware components, we'll be using a ESP32 microcontroller, a PWM MOSFET trigger drive module, a USB cable, a 12 volt DC power supply, a dimmable LED that works with 12 volt DC. Also, I use some jumper wires and a breadboard to do the wiring. First of all, navigate to this web page. You can find its link in description. Connect your ESP32 to your operating system using USB cable. Click connect. Select the port. Your ESP32 is connected to it. Then click connect. After that, click erase flash. Chip erase completed successfully, click disconnect. From Eslo PI website, click web flasher. You must have a Muse account. If you don't, click create your free account, then enter email address, username and password. After that, click sign up. After creating your Muse account, Enter your account credentials and click get started. In this web page, click connect device. Select your ESP32. Select the port your ESP32 is connected to. It. Click connect. It's getting device info. Wait till it's done. Errors don't matter. Click create new device ID, enter Wi-Fi SSID and Wi-Fi password. In these two sections, you have to enter the Wi-Fi network credentials. You want to connect your ESP32 to it. Then in device configuration section in chip type, Select the type of your ESP32 board. Select PWM. Set a name for your device. And from this drop down list, select GPIO26. Then click Apply. After that, Click flash device. Please press good button while flashing begins. In installation prepared, please release the boot button now. Wait till in installation or Progress completes. Device flash successful. I click disconnect. 
In wiring section, connect positive wire of power supply to this terminal, negative wire to this terminal. Connect positive wire of LED strip to this terminal and negative wire to this terminal, as you see. Connect ground pin of ESP32 to this pin and connect pin 26 of ESP32 to this pin. These two pins are jumper, also these two pins are jumper. It's time to test our device. Download and install Muse app on your cell phone. Open it. Enter credentials of your Muse account. Then tap on login. Tap welcome several times until you are navigated to dashboards. Here we have our dimmer. You can control it. Also using Vero mobile app and connecting to your Muse account, you can control your smart dimmer. And now you have a functional smart dimmer device using SLOPI and ESP32. I hope you have found this tutorial helpful and inspiring. Home automation opens up a world of possibilities, allowing you to create a comfortable and efficient living space. If you enjoyed this video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more exciting projects like this. Also, feel free to leave any questions or suggestions in the comments section below. I'm here to help and eager to hear your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching. Until the next time.